All right, so I got a good one today. I'm in the dress. Uh, this customer is having a problem with their septic tank. Their sewer line uh, keeps backing up every couple of weeks. They've had someone out here to clear it a couple times, but it was the septic company that came out to pump it. So they're not quite plumbers. So he wanted us to come out and take a look and see what the heck's going on. So basically, he's got his main sewer line coming out of the house. And somebody in the past, before he moved in, broke the clean out. <laughs> so the clean out is actually right here in pieces. And somebody put a sleeve over it with clamps. So I accidentally put a hole in it with my probe because this is really thin. I don't know why somebody like clearly didn't know what they were doing. But something else, there's a construction error on this house. Because I can tell because they did not run this line very conducive for good drainage. Basically, it comes out of the house, and it turns this way, and then it comes out this way, and it does like a U-turn, and then into the septic tank. So you can see it there, it comes out and goes like this. It's just not very conducive to good drainage. So basically, what I'm doing, I'm to dug up the sewer line, I'm going to cut it off right there, put a new clean out, and I'm just going to run it straight into the side of the septic tank over here. I'm going to have to drill through the side of the tank with a shipping hammer to do this. Um, and then we're going to cut off the old pipe and just uh, fill it in over here with some hydraulic cement. And basically it's now going to be entering through the side. It's going to have a clean sweep just right in. And uh, the pitch is going to be perfect, so they should be really set after this. Um, so I'll get a, a little short video of the finished product here as we're going along. Just take a little break because it's uh, like a thousand degrees out and I'm digging. <laughs> so here's the almost finished product. Um, we're not going to put the actual clean out cap on until after all the ground's back. But um, this was the old pipe as you saw earlier where it was coming from here. So we just cut it off right there and inside the tank. I just threw, you know, put a bunch of mortar in there. I cut it off closer just to keep that blocked off so that nothing comes in or whatever. But yeah, we just ran this pipe in straight into the tank. We shipped out a big hole in the side of the tank, ran the pipe through, and then we patched it with hydraulic cement. So much better situation now. And this sewer should work really well now. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna jet it out real quick, put everything back, and this customer should be all set for a very long time. All right, so anyway, here it is, uh, finished product, all done. Uh, I got a nice clean out for them, all fixed up above, above uh, ground. Put everything back, try to make everything look exactly the same as it did before we started, um, as close as possible anyway. Got one more thing to do here. He's got no lid for his filter access, and he actually has no filter. <laughs> So just for the sake of protecting the drain field, um, I'm going to put a filter in at some point. So I'm going to get him an estimate for that and uh, then he'll, his uh, sewer system will be perfect. So I uh, just wanted to share this because this is just another example of the stuff um, I'm out, out here doing every day. So this is what I do.